they have in fact now been included in the Olympic Games. So this is perhaps an indication of who the medalists are going to be in two years' time. Lining up now, Germany won. Stephanie Muller and Sabine Knaber, exactly the same time as the Canadians on the first run, but it's the British team led by Coy who still have the lead. And at that uh, split time, just beaten by seven thousandths of a second. So uh, very little between them. Next split time is absolutely crucial to see whether the Germans got away cleanly. We've uh, already indicated that a start uh, is very important, a quick start that is, and that now just over a tenth of a second advantage going the way of the Germans. One forty-one oh eight. The next split time they're looking at, and so far a reasonably clean run. Stephanie Muller looking comfortable going a little high into turn number eight but comes out of the s-bends very nicely indeed now the final turn just nine hundredths of a second to play with ahead of the british team and they're looking on nervously i think the lead's gone just inside it and germany take the lead with another five runners still to go but uh, that's good for them they it's Gabby Kolisch of Germany. This is her first ever international contest. She's uh, fresh from victory in the German national event. That was a big surprise. And her performance in the first run was an even bigger surprise. Just 0.37 of a second off the leaders, Francoise Burdet of Switzerland. But uh, worth knowing that uh, they may not have so much experience in the bob, but the pilot of this German team, Gabby Kolisch, a former luge athlete as well. So she knows how to read the track. She knows the perfect line, and she's putting that knowledge into good effect. 1.29.26, a very fast split time, and Kolisch is making a comeback on a second run. They had a very fast start at the beginning and uh, they had the fastest start on the first run so far they have the fastest start on the second run and this is a damaging performance by the germans first team 151.05 the target time thereafter with germany one leading this is germany three in action 158.52 can they get inside yes they can and they're a huge margin inside one 58.09 the combined time and 58.79 that's the first performance under the 59 second barrier and that uh, really does give the Germans a chance of taking a medal having a medal of some color but the Americans will be doing their best it's, it seemed as though they were a little nervous this morning I'm not sure that uh, they were running that well this is the bob I was talking about, the Brian Scheimer bob that has been donated to the Americans women's team and Jean Racine has the job of piloting this down to the finish. Their first run time, 59.18. They've got to beat that 59 barrier now if they want to contend with Kolisch of Germany who's just led the way. The start, very important. 105.00. Are they inside it? Getting into the bob and settling smoothly enough. They've got three hundredths of a second to play with. Well, that doesn't give them any room for mistakes whatsoever. Kolisch was clean right the way down the track. It made it look very easy indeed. 129.26. This is going to be the split time that tells us how America are going. They were 300 inside, remember, at the start. Have they maintained that? No, they've lost it. But uh, absolutely dead, even with Germany 3 now. Kolisch versus Racine. Kolisch is already down, producing the fastest run of the day so far in her second run. And the time splits stay level again. So it's going to be the closing stages, just the last two S-bends that are going to make the difference here in Winterberg. And uh, it's gone the way of the Germans. So Kolisch is going to stay in front. I can't see America coming back from that margin. And they've lost over a tenth of a second on their second. It's, uh, done well and taken full advantage of the sprinting power of Kathleen Herring, who uh, was behind her on their second attempt. And they're now sitting in top spot with just three runners still to go. The first is Germany 2, Heike Stork and Bridget Brodecht started second on the first run and they took advantage of that to uh, produce a good run. Heike Stork, the 33 year old from Hallenberg, just uh, five foot eight, so very small, slight figure and uh, maybe they could have done with a bit more weight behind the bob at the start. And the seventh position, so not a good start for Germany too. So 
one German team up against another. 1.18.10, the target time on the second split. And uh, Germany, too, have an advantage, but it's only two hundredths of a second. And that is two tenths less than they had at the start of the race. So uh, looks as though Kolisch is going to survive another challenge. This pair of Stork and Brodbeck in fourth and fifth pos position in the two World Cups held here last year in Winterberg. So they will have gained some confidence from that. But they didn't look quite so fresh in training. Making errors on the lower part of the course and they've done it again and they've lost their advantage. 158.09 is not going to go. Kolisch and Herring are going to stay the leaders in this World Championship. 158.42 for Germany too. And they're over three tenths outside. Well, we knew their time was good but it's looking to be stunningly good. First time this event has ever been held. Only one event, no four-man event in the uh, women's category. Just uh, the two-person two bob, perhaps we should call it, to avoid contradiction. And uh, is it going to be Germany who lead at the moment? USA's last challenge coming up now with Jill Backen and Shauna Robock. And then the Swiss pair of Francoise Berdet and Katharina Suter, who put in such a, an impressive run on the first run, finishing 0.12 ahead. But America's challenge isn't over yet. This is uh, Jill Backen, the World Cup leader. How is that start time? 105.00. She's got nearly quarter of a second's advantage over Germany. But uh, remember, it's a very technical course here in Winterberg. The start is important, and the Americans are through that stage safely. Well, 0.24 of a second has been cut to 0.19, so the Germans traveling quicker on the top third. Down through the first hairpin, that left-hander working their way down to the second hairpin now. Round through the... Kreisel curve, a 270 degree curve under the bridge and down towards the S-Bend. This is where the line has to be absolutely perfect. And they come out of it cleanly. So USA have put in a good run so far, but have they done enough? 156.7, the next of the splits, and they're outside. Three tenths of a second has gone somewhere. No really obvious mistakes from the Americans. But Kolisch knows that they've done enough, and they stay on top, survive yet another challenge. Well, extraordinary stuff. Finishing in fifth position after the first run, and Kolisch and Herring are now guaranteed the silver the medal with just one team still to come down such big hopes of going away world champions but it hasn't happened to them and it can only happen to one team who is it going to be it's between Francoise Berdet and Katarina Suter of Switzerland who had the fastest run on the first run and the current leaders Gabby Golish and Kathleen Herring Kolisch never entered an international race before today, and she's still on top of the world. Guaranteed the silver medal. It could be gold if Francoise Perdet cannot put in a top performance, and it doesn't look to be the fastest start we've seen from the Swiss pair over the last couple of days. They've still got 0.34 of an advantage over Kolisch, but they started with 0.37, so uh, three hundredths of a second has gone adrift already. 0.34 at the last count, it's cut to 0.29, so it really was a, a lightning start from the German duo. .29 now down to .20 so Switzerland are losing that advantage two tenths to play with as they meet the halfway stage coming out of the Kreisel turn now the S-Bends are more important forever for Francoise Berdet the woman who's certainly got the most experience of any of the drivers on the women's tour can she use that to save that first place 150-67 it's very close she's outside in fact lost three tenths over the middle section and it looks as though Germany are going to go away champions and another big mistake, 158.39 for Switzerland, 0.30, they go into third place, and there is no change in the top two. Amazingly, Kolisch and Herring have come away with the World Championship title, having never entered a, an international race before. Well, emotional scenes amongst the German and camp, and it's quite understandable they could be. And Katarina Suter. Germany two in fourth, and uh, in fifth position, Stephanie Muller of Germany one. So uh, three German teams in the top five, dominating it as they did the... One.